Hello traders, I'm Ignat Bersenko and in this video I'm going to share with you my edit wave charts. So let's start with Euro Dollar where we've got this amazing triangle on the daily chart and it's likely that this pattern is going to be continued. So as we can see on the 4 hours chart it's likely that we have a wedge in wave A here and a possible zigzag in wave B here with a small triangle in this wave B. So bulls likely are going to deliver wave C in the coming weeks. However, I'm out of the market because I'm waiting for a local correction, something we've got here. I mean bullish impulse and a local correction. So when it arrives, I'm going to buy to trade a possible third wave inside this wave C. And there is a quite same story on dollar index where we've got a possible zigzag in this wave 4, I mean A, B, C. And then we've got a wedge in the third first wave here, however, wave 2 is likely going to be continued because there is a possible double zigzag in wave X, so this wave 2 is likely taking form of a double zigzag like ABC, WXY, and there is an opportunity to have another zigzag in this wave Y. And there is an amazing triangle on Australian dollar, which is likely going to be continued as well. So as we can see on the 1 hour chart, it's likely that wave B is going to end soon. If so, bulls could deliver an impulse in wave C. In this case, this wave E is likely going to take a form of a zigzag like A, B, C. At the same time, this price movement could be also a diagonal triangle like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this price movement could be a zigzag like A, B and C. So wave E could be ended here, which means this wave 4 is ended as well. So I've got this short trades for a possible bearish impulse here in the third wave, like 1, 2, 3. So if wave E moves on, I'm going to get my stop losses and I'll be out of the market until we've got another pullback from this moving average line. British pound is very very interesting because there is a possible extension in the third wave, which means we've got this third wave here. And as you can see on the one hour chart, there is a possible ended wave 3 here, so there is an opportunity to have wave 4 next week somewhere in here. I I had 6 short trades and I've closed 3 of them here, cause it's a quite risky to have them during this correction, but when wave 4 ends I'm going to sell more to trade this possible wave 5 inside the third wave. And just have a look at Japanese Yen, where the price hasn't broken this high, I mean high of a possible wave C inside this triangle. So I've sold when the price came back under this moving average line, which means I've got 1 short trade with a stop loss here at the local high. So if we see a bearish rally here, I'm going to sell more. There are two bullish impulses on Australian dollar versus New Zealand dollar. So I'm out of the market until this correction ends. Which means if we see here plain in clear zigzag and then an upward impulse, which could be the first wave, something maybe like this. This price movement may be smaller with a local correction somewhere in here. If we see this structure, I'm going to buy to trade a possible third wave. Also, we've got a possible extension in the third wave on dollar versus crown and there is a possible ending of wave 4 here, so I have just one long to trade this possible bullish impulse in wave 5. Another bearish story on pound versus Australian dollar, where we've got a possible extension in the third wave here and as you can see on the one hour chart, this wave 3 is likely going to be continued. I had 3 short trades here and I've closed one of them here, but I'm going to sell more when this correction, a possible wave 4 inside this wave 3. When it ends, I'm going to sell to trade this possible small wave 5. Turkish Lira is still interesting because this possible impulse in wave C is likely going to be continued, so I have just one long trade with a stop loss here at the local low. Also, I had these long trades and all of them have been closed by 
stop losses here. I'm still keeping one short trade on pound yen cause wave 3 in this possible diagonal triangle and wave 5 is likely going to be continued so we can have a new high here in the coming weeks. And we are moving to gold where I've got one short trade because there is a pullback from this moving average line. So I'm going to trade this possible wave 5 inside this bearish impulse in wave C. When it ends and when the price broke this moving average line I'll be out of the market. I have two short trades on wheat cause there is an opportunity to have a decline inside this diagonal triangle in wave 5 and as you can see on the weekly chart this impulse is likely going to end soon so if you see a pullback from the lower side of this pattern I'm going to buy to trade possible bullish impulse maybe something that we had for example here. Natural gas is still interesting cause this zigzag seems to be ended so I've got just one long trade here which was opened here at this correction and I'm going to buy even more next week to trade this possible extension in the third wave. I had a lot of long trades on oil but all of them have been closed by this correction so when a pullback from the lower side of this channel happened I've opened a new long trade with a stop loss at this local low so I'm going to trade a possible wave 5 inside this wave 3 in the next week. And the current wave structure on Dow index is quite tricky because we can have here a triangle in wave 4 like this or we can have smaller triangle here in a possible wave x so wave 2 in this case could form a double zigzag which means like abc triangle and another abc so considering a pullback from this upper side of a possible triangle i'm out of the market until this correction ends so that's all for today's video have a good week and profitable trades take care bye bye